Okay, let's set up Mobius for audio and also to receive MIDI messages from our Behringer FCB 1010. So let's go ahead and set up our audio devices. That's the configuration menu, audio devices, and there we can choose our default uh, audio in and audio out. You'll also notice that I have my suggested latency milliseconds set to zero and my override output latency frame set to four. This suits my system and yours may be different. The same with setting up our MIDI device, configuration menu, MIDI devices, and then choose your MIDI in and MIDI out device. Now to set up our foot pedals, again, configuration menu, MIDI control. First, we're going to turn on MIDI capture. This is so that Mobius can remember the messages we're going to be sending it from the foot controller. Next, we choose note as our type, and then in the function dialog, we choose the function we wish to assign to a numbered pedal. Here I've chosen record as my function, and I'm going to press pedal one on my FCB. So if you now look at the note dialog box, you'll see a note reference appear next to record. Uh, just so not to confuse, the other note references you'll see there uh, on overdub, etc. Uh, are just there from a previous setting. It's now just a case of assigning functions to pedals uh, in exactly the same way until you're happy with your setup. Assigning an expression pedal function is similar. Apart from you must select controller under type instead of note. And then under the control dialog, choose the function you wish to assign and then move the expression pedal fully back and forth and that will assign the pedal to that controller. When you finish assigning your pedals, click OK. You can now save a preset if you wish by going once again to the configuration menu and choosing presets. Here are my settings. I haven't set anything under effects, but here under synchronization, the one to make note of is the track sync mode set to loop. This is important for synchronizing the tracks, as many as you may use, and without this setting, the tracks will remain unsynchronized and will not remain in time with one another. So you're done. There you have programming your FCB 1010 for use with Mobius Looper. Have fun.